Hello everyone, Sir Monkey Suit Azapi here, back again with My Hero Academia Season 6. We are on episode 4. In the last episode, uh, we lost uh, Jean Bubai Gawara, uh, or twice, uh, which did kind of suck. I know he's a villain, but we've been through this a lot. Uh, you know, I liked him pretty much more than all of the other villains. Uh, you know, he just seemed to be on that edge but just drifted towards, you know, the, the villain side. And, you know, when when you hear him talk about the reasons why, because obviously he was more or less downtrodden, like outcasted, you know, by the hero side, by society, everything like that. They haven't got a grip on society with all of the quirks and everything like that. So, you know, those that have quirks that seemingly fall on what you would consider the bad side, um... You know, it's almost like without even being given a chance, you're just thrust into that sort of that underworld and, and you end up just being on that side through the fact that, you know, you were you were chucked out, you weren't given a chance. And so, you know, it's like you, you can see you can see, you know, both sides of, of the coin, which uh, which which is why it's, it's you know, so compelling, um, you know, so it, it is sad to lose him. Um, you know, but uh, he, he had a he had a nice send off, and now it's like I don't know where we go from here because you know three episodes in and you lose like a main character, and you know the 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 fight doesn't seem to have any indication that it's going to be slowing down. I'm just wondering how many people are going to die before this all kind of blows over, you know. Um, so I mean, I guess we'll just get straight back into it. Uh, Hawks, uh, I believe, is still up there. That uh, you'll be facing off against uh, Dabby now, won't he? So you know, and uh, you know, he's uh, most of his feathers have have been burnt up. Uh, it didn't stop him from uh, his incredible dodge skills, though. Um, you know, so I don't know. Maybe he has to get away and sort of like. I guess regenerate I, I don't know really what it takes to regenerate his feathers if it's like a case of um, recovery girl has to do it like are the feathers kind of almost like a part of his body in which case like they need to be healed like that or is it something that they kind of just regenerate over time I'm, I'm not I'm not so sure um, so who knows we'll, we'll see but uh, yeah um, other than that I, I don't think there's anything else to really talk about I mean that was the, the sort of like the breadth of the the whole episode last um yeah, last episode was, was hawks and and twice so yeah it's sad but uh but that is the thing uh hopefully shigaraki still isn't going to wake up this episode because i just feel like you know he's going to wake up isn't he he's going to wake up and then when that happens it's just a case of whether or not aizawa can be there in time because otherwise shit's going to hit the fan like really really fucking quickly so, um, so yeah, nothing else to really talk about, so you're going to get episode 4. As always, the reaction will be here on YouTube, but if for whatever reason it gets taken down for copyright in the future, I'll re-upload this as a discussion only, and a link to the reaction will be in the description below. As always, a link to the full-length reaction to this episode is in the description below, so if you do want to watch my full-length reaction, and not just the cut 10-minute version, then the offer is there for you. But yeah, nothing else to really talk about, so you're going to get an episode 4 of season 6. See what we get. So without further ado, let's go. My mentor, Hawks. Quirk. Fierce wings. I wonder if Tokiyama's gonna come to his aid. <laughs> Power. Weaknesses? Hmm. Fire, right? My Achilles heel is fire, I guess. I stop bad guys before fire's a problem. <laughs> that wasn't the case this time around though, was it? Is that oh no. How can you tell Tokiyami? <laughs> like any sign of fire is like it must be it must be hawks. You killed twice. Alright. Like it was nothing. Bloody hell, Hawks. Jesus. He's gonna have like no feathers left here. You sound upset. It's not possible for me to cry. My tear ducts have burned shut. He made my dream feel possible. I'm background info on everybody. Except for you and Shigaraki. Kago. Today you will say goodbye to that name. That's a weird. Uh, so, yeah, how the fuck does Darby know his name then? More than twice. More than any army of villains. Your attention should have been focused on me. I've never cared about them. There's no such thing as a true hero in this society. I am the one who will carry out Saint's will. I know he joined after the fact, but I didn't he think he was that. A stain fanatic. Now, try and stop me, you, you fakes! fakes! 
Ah, oh, come on. Talk to me, where are you? Come on, come on. What's going on here, Crust? Endeavor! This thing's regeneration ability is trouble! Eraser. <laughs> here we go. Right, we're on our way. Flash fire fish! <laughs> I'm not landing hits. No. I think these monsters have fully awakened. Oh, really? Because they were only like in their testing phase, right? So, I guess that was. God. Uh... Oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... I don't know what'll happen if it if if she breaks that open. Fuck! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, here he is! <laughs> I got the first two high ends fast enough, but it took me a second before I saw the third. Oh man! I can't let him be set loose on the world. Fucking hell! He looks so evil, man. <laughs> oh. Him. Ah, yeah, it's a fucking, he'll tar target him now. My abilities when he appeared. He needs to see me to activate it. <sighs> fucking hell, figured out that one quick. Don't tell me it figured out how my power works. Yeah. Can you use your bandages like to get a hold of it? Slow it down? Yeah, I think I'll pass the. I think I'll pass the testing phase now. God damn it! Mecha's fucking in here all alone, man! <laughs> this doesn't stop! <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. I guess what it might only mean is that Shigaraki isn't as strong as what he could have been. Fucking hell! Oh, cauterize. Brace yourself. Oh, shit! Gosh, she can take pain like no one else. <laughs> Some of them, like... So one of them is. No good. Can't use my quirks. Shigaraki's <laughs> floating in some kind of capsule. Don't let Shigaraki wake up. He's not just some bratty punk anymore. Mirko's right. Shigaraki can't enter this fight. He could use my backup, but I can't let go of my hold on these. <laughs> yeah, this is like a. a, a ah. Mike, help them. Gotcha. I've got this. I need to rouse him quickly before even more of the solution leaks out. Damn it! I'm reluctant to get you out when you're still unfinished. But the dream I share with all for one must survive. Tomara Shigaraki! Fuck! No! Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Pumps for making my buddy cry. I'm not feeling any heartbeat. That receptacle housed the means to revive him. What now? It's all I mean, over. He's obviously gonna come the back, dream. but you better call him off if you know what's good for you. You hear me? Exless, deal with Shigaraki. Right. I don't like the world this. Ridiculed me and my ideas. They said my paranormal 70. singularity theory was irrational. Man who proposed the concept went missing and was thought dead after his claims were published. He I started the whole thing. He was the only one who reached out a hand when the rest of the world cast me aside. My quirk, life force, gave me the ability to live twice as long. Mm. I offered this humble power to him. I have in me right now is actually a duplicate of my original. You're a friend of Kuragiri's, aren't you? <laughs> and what we really wanted was erasure. They really wanted. <laughs> I've seen a lot. Who am I? It's like a domain. He's in his subconscious. Fuck! He's gonna awaken himself. It's my fault you got in trouble. I don't care about that anymore. Tenko, you were in my study. <laughs> Tomura. You're starting to look like Kuragiri. Come here. Oh god, it's like a similar kind of thing to Deku with one for all. To entrust everything to his Shit. Including his astonishing quirk. After transferring the original to Tomura Shigaraki. Fuck. Make sure you don't forget. Wow. <laughs> That's an image. 
God damn it, I knew this was gonna happen. I'm done. Done. Fuck, that's the end. God. Ugh. Okay, episode four. Bloody hell. Well, I mean, oh, fucking hell. We saw this coming in a way, didn't we? I mean, come on. There was never gonna be a, 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 a world in which Shigaraki didn't wake up. Because he had to, he had to, like, the, 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 the tide had to be turned. Um, I mean, I, I don't know, I guess you could say, like, things were, I don't, well, I don't think you can, I don't think you can say things were even, right? Because twice has been taken out. Yeah, he's kind of in a very precarious spot with Dabby right now. Um, but in terms of, like, everything that's generally happening, like, you know... You, you can still say that the heroes have the upper hand in general, right? Um, like, even underground now, that Endeavor and Aizawa are there. They will get through them eventually. And so, to, to really turn the tide, Shigaraki had to wake up. Like, he had to wake up not just for the... Like, for their side and the hospital, but also for their side at, um, at the villa, right? Because, like, he has to order... Gigantomachia around. So, yeah, it really, really, really turns to shit now. Like, this is where it becomes really dangerous. I knew for a fact he would wake himself up. My God, I didn't think it would be like the same. Uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe I, I, if I had time to really think about it, of course he would, because it totally makes sense that, like, this, this whole thing that he's got this similar thing with Deku that like similar plane of existence that we've seen Deku go in where he can see all the previous members of One for All and similarly with Shigaraki in his like subconscious state there he can see All for One because we learned that All for One has given All for One to Shigaraki I mean <laughs> I guess we knew it was coming. Like we've we've heard it before, but I guess we didn't realize that he already had it, or if it was like this solution where he was in his fixed it like fixation, fucking solution bloody, you know, tube, like that was given all like if that had reached a hundred percent, was that like a hundred percent of all for one? And because it seems like that's the case, right? Because I mean. Shigaraki didn't have all for one before. So this must have been what it was. And if that is the case, then are we to assume that he only has... He doesn't have 100% of it? I don't really know what that means. Because all for one basically means you can take quirks, right? So, I mean, what to what degree does that mean of set... Like, I don't know, can you only take 75% of a quirk? You know, I, d I don't know if that's the case. could be an interesting concept but we know that like you know you can strengthen quirks like over time so there's nothing to say that he can't just build up that 25 percent that he missed anyway so i don't know i mean regardless he's dangerous as fuck because of his his um uh his uh shit what's it called well his destruction quirk right i know it's not called that but the fact that he can take and take quirks now. I mean, the fact is he's gone through all of that trauma before, right? Of like being electrocuted for like a, like months on end, whatever it was. So the idea is that he can take mo like multiple quirks. Is obviously that's what they were, that's what they were fixing him up to be. Like they were, you know, they were strengthening him that way, so that you know once he got through that process, then he could get put into the you know, the, the tube and, and get all for one so you could actually take it. But it's mad to think that all for one actually had the he had just had the duplicate. But it's crazy to have that kind of power in it to think that like, you know <clears throat> that because obviously they can duplicate power 
that you, theoret like that you can have two people have all for one. Theoretically, you can have two people have one for all. I mean, you know, technically we have seen it with Deku and and all like All Might, but like, you know, obviously it was almost like how much did All Might have left in the tank, and he was using the rest of it up, right? Whereas like All for One seemingly just has it as is and when he needs to use it. It makes me wonder, like, could you duplicate? Well, that's the thing. It's like, this is something that Qdai's been doing, and so he's obviously not going to duplicate one for all and then have All Might have it. <laughs> so All Might has it back. But could you imagine if they could just figure out how to do it? But this is the thing, like, Qdai's been alive so long. Clearly, it's, it's this is something that has taken so much time that I just think that that's something that is out the window. Um, you know, so I, I, I doubt that would ever happen. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, they obviously talked about he must be over 120 by now. Because he was actually the one that wrote the whole Quirk Doomsday Theory thing. Like, he's the one that started all of that. Um, which is insane. It does, like, make me wonder, like, in, like, the whole, obviously, the third Hit My Hero movie, obviously, it was all surrounded, like, a cult behind the whole doomsday theory and whatnot that obviously Qdai wasn't involved in that but it would have been interesting to see if there was any communication between them or what you know um because i mean seemingly Qdai only really cared about what all for one was doing and everything like that like he, he cared so much about him that I, I don't know if he really would go along with what the you know the, those uh um what humanized was doing and whatnot you know because what humanized wanted was humans to come back and in in you know like they needed to be in control of you know the majority and whatnot whereas i don't think that's what all for one really wants so i guess he wouldn't really be involved in that whole thing um so yeah uh interesting enough as well uh Qdai actually similar to how All for One has got the duplicate of his original quirk and he's given the original to Shigaraki. But similarly, Qdai's uh, quirk Life Force, All for One has the original. And it's Qdai that's got the duplicate. Not that, like, that's the thing, is like, how much does that really matter? You know? Like, is it a thing of, like, duplicates can't be strengthened? Like, whatever you get as the duplicate, that's the way it is, and it can't be, like, strengthened, whereas the original is something that can be, you know, added upon? I don't know. Because, I mean, there must be something, because then what would be the difference between all for one just keeping the original and giving the duplicate to... To Shigaraki, you know? Um, so there must be something in it. But yeah. Um, so obviously the end there, when Shigaraki's in his sort of subconscious, like sort of plane of existence and whatnot, where he's seeing all for one and he's heading towards him. I did kind of like the imagery of like, you know, it's what like his past life basically trying to stop him. It's almost like this was the final... Almost like it was like the final chance to stop him from... I don't think, I don't know, I don't think waking up, but maybe like... Well, it could be both. It could be to stop him from obviously waking up in the real world, but also like crossing that threshold of like right there is definitely no turning back now i mean the thing is with shigaraki is there could have been like you, you wouldn't have thought that there was a way for him to come back anyway before this moment like it, it felt like he'd went too far anyway but like i just found it interesting because obviously as well as like all of his family that were there and i like the fact that it was all like the imagery of it's perfect obviously because it's all um like all of the hands are actually placed like where he used to have his hands like on his old costume and whatnot 
Um, the interesting one, though, was Nana Shimura's. It was, was on the back of his head. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I can't remember. I'm going to have to look this up because I can't remember if if Shigaraki had a hand on the back of his head. Uh, I don't know. Old costume. There we go. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, he doesn't, does he? Oh, no, he does. He does. Never mind. He does. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. I felt that, like, you know, because uh, looking back, I couldn't remember if he actually did or not. But this is weird because th there are some... Uh, no, yeah, I guess he's always had it there. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, fair enough. He's always had it there. But I, I, I don't know. I find it interesting because obviously Nana Shimura is the... Like, she's the one that obviously sticks out because she's the one that wasn't there when shit all went awry, which... Essentially, like, it's that whole thing of, like, if she had been there, would, you know, this could have, like, we could have stopped this from happening. Um, you know, so obviously she wasn't the one that was around, but obviously she's the one that has the tie to one for all and everything. So, of course, it's interesting there. And obviously we heard her say there, like, don't forget when she placed her hand on, on the back of his head and whatnot. Now, I don't think that is a thing of, you know, you know, because we've just before Shigaraki like leveled up when he went up against the uh you know the liberation army and whatnot like those memories are what like came back so that don't forget thing could be that and it's just that that's come you know it, it's kind of tragic in a way that like Nana Shimura if that is the case is kind of like responsible for that you know um which sucks but then it's like immediately after Shigaraki says, don't reject me anymore. So it's like, don't forget, don't reject me anymore. And it's like a case of like, well, Shigaraki, it's like, I don't know, like he felt rejected obviously by his family. Um, because similar to other villains, it's almost like he's downtrodden, but he's like, you know, downtrodden within his own family and whatnot, specifically his father, you know. Um, and this whole, like, don't reject me any anymore is probably, like, a, a whole thing of, like, listen, you know what I mean? You can't reject me, me anymore. I am, I'm, I am power, in a way, right? Nothing can reject me anymore because I'm, I'm just that powerful. Probably is the case. Regardless, Exus is screwed. Like, you know, thank fuck Mike got out of there quick. But Exus, like, yeah, you're the first to go, buddy. Um, so yeah um, I don't think there's anything else really on I mean the solution kept him under didn't really matter in the end because he was able to get like pick himself up that's the thing is like when I talk about it like obviously you know the, the plane of existence where he sees all for one is obviously similar to Deku and, and all, uh, one for all we've obviously seen like a similar situation with Deku where he's, where he's been in that because the thing is when he goes into that plane of his existence it's when he is like subcon like it's it's when he is like under in some form or fashion right it's when he's asleep or um if he's under uh that um spell that uh what, what's his name has damn it can't remember his name so many fucking characters to remember in this show uh what's the guy that was in bloody general studies man he was joined the hero course in um, in one B. <sighs> God. It's probably like all the way back. Oh, Shinso, that's it. There we go. <laughs> God. Yeah, like if he's under the influence of Shin Shinso's quirk, like we saw him do that before, where it's like he saw all of the previous uh, holders of of one for all, right? And that was, like, something that, like, kicked him back out of it. So, similarly, I can see and understand the reasons why Shigaraki was able to do the same thing. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, Mirko can take as much punishment as, like, fucking anybody. <laughs> like, God, yeah, she's going to be out for a while. Get her to safety. Get her out of there, right? She cannot remain in this state underground. Somebody needs to take her out of there. 
she's been absolutely battered and bruised and it's ridiculous man but it's a way of like something that you would actually expect to happen because you know these high end no moves are no joke like you know we saw how much it took out of Endeavor just to kill one of them and there's fucking you know th there's been five of them in here so and it's interesting as well like you know some of them were being awakened that's what Mirko called it and uh, even like one of the high ends talked about it saying like hmm I feel like you know I feel like much like stronger here and it's almost like the idea is that well Qdai said that they're still under testing phase so I think that the idea is that just by being out and having like real life experience doing what they were bred to kind of do is almost like pushed them past that testing phase and now it's like they're at their full capabilities which makes it even more which makes it even more like scary because it's, it's one thing having one but then having you know four to come up against now i believe there's four left right because one of them was destroyed um and, you know, Mirko is pretty much out of commission now. So it's just Endeavor, Aizawa. Aizawa is, like, the, the key, right? He's the key that would, like, that is, that is, that can stop this from getting really bad. <laughs> so it's just something we'll have to, we'll have to see uh, what happens next time. Um, <sighs> President Mike did well. I, I was expecting him, like, because when he was going rushing in to, like, help Mirko and whatnot, I didn't realize, like, to what great like what he was going like what was going to happen with him right if we got into a fight i was i did say like during the reaction i don't know if it's in the, the cut video but you know like this idea that like it would be interesting to see what present mike's capable of because really all we've seen him do is shout right and yeah we know we can do that that's just the basis of his quirk but like there has to be other things that he can do that are special moves and whatnot right and i just wonder what kind of things they would be um you know uh but we didn't get to see him really really go all out fight uh he had dj punch but, but that's just a punch in it with a, just putting dj in front of it uh you know so yeah i mean this is the thing at this point Qdai. is caught but doesn't matter not really because the main end goal was to get Shigaraki with all for one and awake and Kyudai obviously isn't there to witness you know I'm sure he'll, he'll very much soon find out <laughs> that Shigaraki is actually awake so is there any real need for Qdai anymore? Probably not. It wouldn't surprise me if all for one's like, right, well, you've had your use Qdai. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. It, it seems like Qdai, almost like you don't really need him anymore. So, if he gets caught and locked up, great. But, you know what I mean? He's, he's accomplished what he wanted to do. So... Yeah, we'll see. Um, I think that's everything involving at the hospital. The last thing, which is ironically the first thing that happened in the episode is uh, at the villa, is with Hawks. Now, the intro to this episode was interesting because it's, it's like, they don't really do that. Like, they've, they've probably done it like once before, but like. It's interesting how Toku Yami is the intro. Like, I know, like, he's, like, the understudy to Hawks, right? And that makes sense. But, like, the way it was setting it up, I was almost like, right, well, yeah, Hawks is going to be in trouble because his weakness is fire, and he's going up against Dabi, right? <laughs> of course, right? That makes sense. And it's almost like, all right, well, Toku Yami's there too. He's, he's going to be the one to come, to come to his aid. Now, he still can, of course. Maybe going to be in the next episode. I mean, this is the thing. At this point, I don't know how long before we go back there. Because we could have, like, with Shigaraki coming back, right, that's a big deal. We could have, like, three episodes before we go back there. Um, but, you know, this is the thing, like, I still think it, it probably will happen. Um, you know, I, I can see Tokoyami, like, you know, without being ordered to, just going. Um, and, and we'll we'll see, wait and see about that. Um, there were some interesting things that came up with, uh, with Darby, though. So, 
interestingly enough, the way that he was talking, you know, it's like he was crying. There was no tears because his tear ducts actually burned shut. <laughs> so there you go. That's a, that's a another one of those kind of, I guess, side effects or something that is very inconvenient with quirks is that shit like that can happen. Uh, but it, it makes sense, and it's quite it's quite cool that they they talked about that. But then it like goes into the whole thing of like, yeah, of course I'm of of course I'm very sad. Like you know, without twice, like you know, it's like almost like my mission has gotten a lot harder. It was so much easier with him around. The only reason he's he would actually be crying, or the reason why he's sad, is just because he's lost that opportunity. He didn't care about them. He doesn't care about any of the League of Villains. And I, this is something, obviously, we've talked about before. And, it, it, I mean, it's it's been fairly obvious ever since we, you know, really, like, had him in the show that he's always been the one that, like, doesn't really apply himself with the rest of the group. It's it's like he does any everything on his lonesome for his own reasons, right? And so his own reasons... Or basically that of just continue what Stain did. <laughs> now, I like the fact that Stain's being brought up again. Because, I mean, the whole reason why the whole League of Villains was even formed in the first place was because of Stain. So it makes sense as to why Darby would have sort of applied <laughs> to the group. Uh, you know, handed in his CV. Here's my application. Uh... But seemingly, I guess the reason why he doesn't really care about the rest of the group is probably because he realised after even applying to the group that they really don't care about Stain either. Like, like they're not really enforcing Stain's ideals. Whereas Darby, it, like, obviously wants to. But Darby's just going along with it because obviously it's a it, it's it works in his favour to be alongside these people to get like you know to do his whole thing it does put him in an interesting situation because I have talked about this before about the whole like would there be I remember like ages ago like talking about well I haven't seen Stain in ages the last mention of him before this was at the end of last of the last season where Old Might was like I'm going to go speak to him or something like that right now I hope we still get to see that but I, like my whole thing like way back when I can't even remember what season I was talking about it but it was like a whole thing of like it would be interesting if if like there, ca there came a time where a prison break happened happened, and now it's even more possible now at Tartarus right with, with Shigaraki like awakened like he can obviously go there and just destroy the fucking prison um, and therefore everyone escapes and I, I, I just threw it out there like ages ago like it would be cool if like Stain because of like his sort of ideals because he obviously doesn't like villains either. That if like he if if he purposefully like kind of didn't join like the hero side, but because obviously he's in his own kind of group, like a third sort of side, which seemingly Dabby is now. It's just that he kind of just falls on the on the villain side because it had helps you know his ideals and whatnot. But like just seeing a third side I think is very interesting for the show and it means that going forward there could be possibilities for Darby to go again Shigaraki in the future maybe um, and also remember like because in this episode they literally flash back to bloody when Stain was doing that whole thing and when Endeavor showed up again this whole thing of Darby possibly being a Todoroki like that connection's there again it's just like the, the, the connection's strengthening so it is interesting like this is the thing like because obviously Endeavor is like one of those heroes and obviously he in, to be a hero it's like he kind of disregarded his family and whatnot. It, that makes a lot of sense why Darby would have left you know because like you know obviously he doesn't believe in heroes either if they're supposed to be heroes why are you disregarding your own family you know I can see that being the case um but yeah, it is interesting. Like <clears throat> he's the one that this sh that they should have been marking. I like that whole thing of like you know what I mean. You were you were marking the wrong one. Um, so yeah, hopefully fucking Tokiyami gets gets back there in time. I think the first like explosion that Tokiyami saw was like oh no. I think that was when he was coming out. 
of um like where hawks like went around to to cut off twice so there is time for him to get there you know and that's the thing it's like Tokyo army i don't know who else is capable you know what i mean Tokyo army can fly so he can get up there i don't know who else is capable of doing that <laughs> and Tokyo army's the only one who actually seemingly knows because he's the one that got told his weakness so we'll see um but uh but yeah i think that's that's pretty much it that's 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 all i've got so yeah, it's about to kick off. It's going to be very, very intense, I'd imagine. And uh, there are going to be some lives at risk. So, <laughs> oh, God. The tension, the pressure. But it's like, I can't wait for it either. Better sweet moments to come, I imagine. But, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But that's all I've got. So, thank you for watching. In the description below, I have links to my Patreon, of course, so you can get over there. There is uh, tiers like early access, gives you access to shows a week early. There's the full-length tier, which gives you access to uh, full-length reactions to all the shows I do. And then there is the exclusive tier, which gives you access to all the full-length movie reactions I've done. Uh, I recently just did the third uh, My Hero movie, so that obviously is the tier that you would need if you want to watch the full-length reaction to that. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is all I've got, so thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.